US President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, has been found guilty on three federal gun charges. The jury deliberated for a few hours before voting to convict the president's son. Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen joins us live now. Annalise, how serious is this conviction? Look, this is quite serious and there is potential for as much as 25 years jail time for Hunter Biden, although it's believed when it does come to sentencing that he'll be given something more lenient, given that the gun in question wasn't used in the commission of a violent crime. But he was found guilty by a jury of his peers today. The First Lady Jill Biden walked in with her stepson for this day and it didn't take the jury long to decide that he was guilty on these three charges. Essentially they didn't buy the defense that because he wasn't actively taking drugs at the time he filled out this form to acquire the Colt pistol and that he wasn't actively taking drugs while he had it in possession after that, that he wasn't well aware that he was a drug addict as was detailed in his personal memoir and that he should have declared that on the form and should not have had the gun in his possession during during that time. Now you'll remember or you may remember there was a plea deal that was originally negotiated by Hunter Biden's lawyers for this crime, that he wouldn't serve any jail time, that he would also get out of any serious repercussions for not paying tax for those few years. But what was the real clincher that had the judge throw out that plea deal was that part of that was that he'd also get a free pass for any other potential crimes. And the judge said that simply wasn't acceptable to give him clemency on that. And so what we've seen today is the follow through from the prosecutor now commenting that this was a just decision even after his original negotiated plea deal wasn't allowed. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction, his choice to lie on a government form when he bought a gun and the choice to then possess that gun. It was these choices and the combination of guns and drugs that made his conduct dangerous. Second, no one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. Kenny, he continued that no one's above the law, but no one also should have extra punishments because of who they are under the law, suggesting that there won't be any harsher punishment for Hunter Biden than anyone else who's been found guilty of the same crime. But what's interesting in America is it's not illegal to interview jurors, and a number were interviewed as they left the court. News outlets here have chosen not to identify them, which is in line with what is expected by the court process, at least during the reporting. So we have some audio of one of the jurors saying that it didn't factor into his thinking that this is the son of the president. President Biden uh, never really even came in to play for me um, because his, his name was only brought up once during the trial. And that's when I that's when it kind of, kind of sunk in a little bit. Oh, wow. This is this is the, the sitting president's son who's on trial. Now, Kenny, as luck would have it, Joe Biden was at a gun control event today. There was probably some anticipation this timing would line up, but it is quite remarkable that this is the same day his son is found guilty on three, three felony gun charges. Now, he didn't reference that in his speech where he talked about how he was going to bring in some harsher penalties, especially for assault rifles. But a statement was put out by the White House counsel saying, as I said last week, I'm the president, but I'm also a dad. Jill and I love our son and we are so proud of the man he is today. So many families who have had loved ones battle addiction understand the feeling of pride seeing someone you love come out the other side and be so strong and resilient in recovery. As I also said last week, I will accept the outcome of this case and will continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. Jill and I will always be there for Hunter and the rest of our family with our love and support. Nothing will ever change that. He said in an interview last week as well that he will not use his presidential pardon power to pardon Hunter Biden if he leaves office or any time before that. Mm, it's certainly an interesting development. Annalise Nielsen, thanks so much. Talk soon.